living the dream. A ten. <laughs> Absolute ten. Aloha loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. Today I am coming at you live from Oahu, Hawaii, and I couldn't be more excited. Good morning, everybody. It is what's today? Wednesday? Yep. And we are going to the waterfall hike. Not exactly sure the name of the waterfall. I can't remember, but I did this last year with Sam on my first day and it was lots of fun. So we're doing it again today. Um, our day yesterday was perfect. Today I'm wearing a little workout romper. I have this in a bunch of different colors and I get so many questions about it because it's a dupe for the Aritzia one. I'll leave it linked down below. And then I've got on my little fanny pack and a trucker hat because my hair looks atrocious. And then New Balance sneakers. So I'm gonna be a little chilly, I can already tell, but it's okay. We're just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to function at mom's pace. Shed over there. So I will drop you guys off right on the start point. So you're going up and when you're coming back, you're gonna end it up right back on the same place. Okay, we're beginning our Manoa Falls hike. There are a couple of important things to know about this hike. One, be, oh, wow. be in clothes that if you fall in, you can get dirty. Two, wear shoes that you don't care about getting muddy. Three, wear bug spray. Even if you think you're too good for it, wear it. And four, take the walking stick because it does get uh, very slippery up at the top by the water, waterfall. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm laughing at the way that mom's holding her walking stick right now. What do you mean? <laughs> Dad said slow Anyways, down, so I'm a... <laughs> She's pacing herself. I think I'm just going to have to vlog on my phone in here because my camera is not picking up the colors very accurately. But this first part of the hike is where all of those popular movie scenes are filmed. All the Jurassic Worlds and catching fire. You can hear the water running through there. <laughs> and we just took lots of pictures. If one turned out, I'll leave it here. And it clearly hasn't rained up here in a little bit because the waterfall stream is so small today. It's like barely any water. Um, so that's a little and sad. The and the ground is completely dry. It's very different than when I was here the last time. There's also like nobody here. There's like, we've seen like 10 people the whole time we've been here. And last time I would say there was like we probably passed like 50 people throughout yeah, our time here. Come in the, same time. the ex I, I came the exact same week and I came at 7.30 in the morning then too. And what is the name of this fall? Manoa Falls. Dad, how do you feel? A little unimpressed? Um, it's nice, but obviously you would like to see a bigger waterfall, but um, it's a nice hike. Look, the sun's it's coming out. It's pretty steep. Sun's coming out in the rainforest. All right, we finished up our hike, which was a lot easier than I expected today. And now we are looking to find some breakfast. And then we're gonna check out of this hotel and we're actually headed to a new one. Um, we're spending the second leg of our trip at the Twin Fin, which is a newer hotel to Waikiki. I'm really excited, so yeah. Gorgeous morning out. Okay, we're getting a pastry for breakfast and they said that these are the local Portuguese donuts, I believe. I don't know what the difference is between them, so I'm gonna ask and I'm gonna get one of these, I think. But the hot dog looks so good to me. Okay, the flavors were passion fruit, coconut, apple, and like a beet, which all seemed kind of interesting to me. But I decided to get the passion fruit one, so I'll let you know how it is. Oh, 
better than I thought it'd be. Okay, so we have checked out of our first hotel and into our second. For this leg of the trip, we are staying at the Twin Fin, which was previously an Aston Waikiki Beach. And we are on the 23rd floor, so we're super high up and we have an incredible ocean side view and are staying in a double bedroom. So here's a little tour. This hotel recently had a huge rebrand and it has come together so beautifully. It is a gigantic hotel with hundreds of rooms that start at as low as $150 a night, at least when we arrived in January. And we had a partial ocean view, which as you can tell was pretty much a full ocean view because you could see so much from our cute little balcony. One of the things that this property is known for is its incredible amenities. It has a huge pool and a restaurant downstairs called Tiki's with a fully functioning bar. They also have beach chairs, towels, and you can rent surfboards and paddleboards for up to two hours at a time, which is really cool. Plus, you can't beat being right across the street from the beach. And they left me a sweet little care package. They gave me two Yetis, which I'm so excited about. I've never had this like kind of mug one. They gave us a white one and a black one. And then this is a little portable wooden speaker, this little bag. And they said, welcome to the Twin Fin. We hope that your stay will be filled with many fond memories and cherished moments. Please don't hesitate to contact us should you need any further assistance. Thanks for choosing the Twin Fin as your home away from home. Mahalo. Yay, I'm so excited. My dad just went to find me a Mai Tai or a pina colada of some sort. I really want to take a picture in my bathing suit today in front of this view, so. Well, this is what an $18 pina colada looks like at the Twin Fin. <laughs> but I'm excited. It's gonna be the perfect prop. Mom's directing me right now so that I don't have to use the tripod and she told me that I need to shake my hair out because it doesn't look very good. Um, okay, so pina colada or no pina colada? the shot I just changed into this yellow bathing suit I don't know if it's my $18 uh, my tie going to my head but I look sexy right now mm. all right let's go anyways this is our lunch view have moseyed on downstairs and we're at Tiki's which is our bar and grill that's attached to our hotel I tried to take us here the other night but dad didn't want to walk further, so we ended up at Cheeseburger in Paradise, and we didn't even know that it was connected. Dad? You wanted to walk here? Yeah, and you, were, you remember you were like, I don't want to go point two more. So what do you think about your new hotel? I like it. You like it? Good view? The view is beautiful. Good drink? Drinks were good. I got a, well, I asked for a surprise, but he said it was a passion fruit something. It's good, it's like a, uh, Fizzy. I don't like fizzy. But not in a fizzy way. What is it? Passion fruit punch. Uh, yeah. I also asked her what I should get. I got the Kaloa pig quesadilla, which is some type of pork. And I'm excited, it looks good. And mom got a Thai salad. And dad got the fish sandwich, which is what was the kind of fish? Pe heavy. Heavy. He heavy. 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 A kind we've never heard of. A restaurant after my own heart gives you a postcard with the bill. We do that a lot in Europe. First place in Hawaii we've gotten one, but I'm keeping it. The best news about our new hotel is that it's literally right along the beach. All you have to do is cross the street and walk into the sand. So that's what I did. I just got a towel. They have really amazing amenities here. You can rent beach chairs and umbrellas and paddle boards and surfboards and all that kind of stuff and it's free just included with your stay. They want to rent a paddle board but I think that I'm gonna do that tomorrow. It's already 2.30 once we got down here so I feel like it's a little bit too late of a start but I'm just gonna be laying here. I want to finish my book and take a nap and just enjoy it. It's really hot out today so I have a feeling I'm gonna need to go in the water a few times but yeah. 
I feel like it's boring when I go to the beach as far as like vlogging goes, but like for me, it's the thing that I enjoy doing the most, but it's just like, I can't really vlog me just sitting here or like me going in the water, you know what I mean? But um, just know I'm having the best time relaxing, so. book and I wanted to love it but it was just a little too cheesy for me but I'm um, taking a dip now I've actually gotten in quite a few times hence my crazy hair and there's literally like no waves in the water on this coast obviously Hawaii has like some of the biggest waves in the United States um, but that's mostly on the north shore and we are not on the north shore so therefore it's basically like a giant pond you can have your phone in here and it not really be a big deal um the beach access to our new hotel actually has this like big strip behind us and that basically blocks off a huge coral reef and then a like surfing bay so behind this there are actually waves that are like crashing over and the tide is like kind of dangerous and there's huge coral reefs that you can't really walk on so Right here, you can just kind of flow. It only goes to about five feet before that wall hits. Right now, I'm just like crouched down sitting over this, but it feels amazing. And I'm just so happy to be here. I wish that I could stay longer. Well, both rents left, but I'm still here. Gonna enjoy the sunset from the beach and look at when I look up, this is literally my view, so <laughs> can't complain. got done with dinner and we're doing a little bit of souvenir shopping now and I don't know why but I want this little magnet so bad but I don't have anywhere to put it magnets like I don't have my own fridge or anything but I just love a good little uh, tacky tchotchke I'm on my hunt for my postcards definitely a tradition I'm gonna keep in to the new year but yeah how cute are the postcards here I'm getting six they're three for a dollar ninety eight I sent so many postcards while I was studying abroad and like literally only half of them made it, but. Look it, in this tourist shop they have dad. Do you, don't you think we should get Abby one of these? She could have a little pink hula outfit, look it. <laughs> okay, did which sticker did you get? Dad was debating between these two. This one. That one's cooler. Put it in your bag. He'll give you a haul of the rest Yay, of his stuff. Yay, let me give you a haul. We are just the lamest crew. I mean, eight o'clock and this is our latest night. Um, okay, dad got a couple of stickers and a shirt that I'll show you. And I got aloe, which I overpaid four times the amount for this amount of aloe, mostly because I love the size and shape of this bottle. I aloe is like my go-to i've been using banana boat for years it's how i keep my tan to last but um i never bring it on vacation like this kind of trip because i never have the weight for it now i can just keep refilling that then they gave me my postcards and the cutest little thing ever i got six like i said i got this one i always get two minimum one to write on about my trip and then one to hang up this one i thought my dad would like then I got these two hula girls. They remind me of Mia Madison. Maybe I'll send it to her at school. Then I got this one. Then I got this one. 
Wow, they're all facing different directions. And then, doesn't that look like me on a postcard? I'm manifesting this. I'm gonna put this on my vision board. If I had a vision board, it would be me looking good. Tanned tone on a hot man's shoulders in the water in Hawaii. All right, and then I got a magnet. Starting a magnet collection, you heard it here first. Don't have a fridge to put them on, but I got this one, the one that I told you I liked. That mom said was stupid. I got a, I have a sticker collection and I have stickers on my car because we have a surfboard on it sometimes. So I got his old a, car, not his regular. Car. Right, my old car. I got, I don't know if you can see that, it's a Hawaii Wave sticker. Not sure. And I got a little sticker that says Aloha and it's a Volkswagen Bug sticker. And some of these go on our garage refrigerator because we have hundreds of stickers on our garage refrigerator. And he got a shirt. And I got a shirt just because I don't have any shirts anymore that have graphics. places on them, graphics. They're all just kind of Because you funny. haven't been on a trip in forever. I haven't been on vacation. <laughs> Come into the frame more. Okay. Okay, now tell, tell them what you would rate your tacos. Tacos? Freaking nice. Your I'm whole meal. I'm going to give it a 10. The Wow, the whole thing? Yeah, the tacos were excellent. Great. 10. I'm happy to hear it. I, yep, 10 the other night, 10. They were kind of different, and they were both excellent. I would have given tonight a 10 as well, but I was just not hungry enough to eat as much. Well, that food does, that but should. But the food itself was great. The bacon was good. The flavors were good. The fries I thought were great. I liked the vibe. Good morning guys. It is Thursday and I woke up and shot some content for our hotel. And now mom and I are walking over to find something to eat for breakfast. It's about 10 o'clock. We slept in a little bit this morning, no hike or anything, but we're planning on having a beach day and then going to the luau tonight. I'm really excited. We have literally been waiting in line for 40 minutes at the Barefoot Beach Cafe. But there are so many people behind us. It has to be amazing. It better. It has to. Be. No, they're out of all the smoothies. I'm starting to think I need to get a pineapple smoothie because if I if I waited in line this long, I'm not gonna want to wait in line again. I just feel like it would really perform well. This better be good because we just waited so long. But I got an acai bowl. I was debating between this and the burrito. Got strawberries, blueberries, banana, coconut. Honey granola. So if you want chairs and umbrellas from the hotel, you have to go at 7 a.m. to get them because by 10 a.m. they're all distributed. There's none left. So dad bought this umbrella yesterday for $20 because he was sick of being in the sun. And I've just got my uh, beach towel from the hotel. So this is where we'll be. Another beach day. I'm about to start a new book every summer after and I heard amazing things about this and was really excited to read it but my mom just read it and she said that it was nothing special so I'm a little on the fence um, and I'm curious to see if I will agree with her or not so that's where I'll be. Water is so warm today. 11 and I'm getting ready to head back up to the room. I've been reading for hours now. I'm literally 187 pages into Every Summer After and it's so good right now. I can't believe my mom didn't like it. This is like exactly the kind of book that I like, but yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna head in. We'll be doing a little bit of snorkeling tomorrow, but this is like the last full beach day, but time to go get ready for the wow shower. I want to do my hair tonight, so. I discovered this dress in the back of my closet actually, new with tags from Petal and Pup. I must have gotten it at the end of the summer and I just never had the chance to wear it. So I'm wearing it tonight, it's really cute, it self ties at the top along the center and along the back. I've just got my straw bag from H&M, still haven't found the perfect small bag. So I'm carrying the big one tonight and then I've got on my straw Franco Sarto shoes. Look at mom, she looks so cute next to me. Come show them your dress. Right, we just made it to the luau and it's actually in a new spot this year. I definitely liked last year's better because it was like more traditional, like in the mountains, very foresty vibes. This one is like on a pier, but they've still done a really good job with the setup. I'm gonna show you guys some of the fun stuff. This was another thing on our ghost 
City Pass and you get two Mai Tais and dinner with it. You've got a cute little backdrop for photos. Appetizers, they really meant little. Look at how small that is. Wow. Was it good? No. What'd you have? Yeah. What'd you have? I had the ceviche. And it was not good? The ceviche was pretty decent. You just said, wow, no. Oh. I got a Mai Tai and a pineapple. Not worth $30, but if I got a good picture, I'll be Okay, we just got our meal, and we've got mahi-mahi, chicken, pork, veggies, rice. This is honey guava butter. I'm excited to try it. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I thought that the pork was the best, which is, mom says, not surprising, because we're at a luau, and that's the pig, but. Drinking my Mai Tai. What God is this? Had a fun night at the luau last night and now we are getting ready to go on a full day of the North Shore tour this is a great thing to do if you don't have a rental car because um, they basically pick you up at your hotel and they take you around the whole island and you have multiple different stops we did this last year but it changed a little bit this year so we're finishing the day with snorkeling and things like that so I've got a swimsuit in my bag um, I'm using the Italy one and then I've just got on a pink dress so that I can put a bathing suit on underneath and my usual sandals ready for your last day in Hawaii yep I'm excited are you sad should be fun yes I'm sad it's the last day <laughs> all right so our tour began and our first stop is a fun lookout it's beautiful here it's super sunny though um, so I'm gonna insert some phone footage here but we have about 15 minutes to get out take pictures and enjoy the view I think I like the face on this one better. Even though I like her outfit better in the purple, I think. I don't know, I just kind of think this one she'll like more. Dad goes, I need your wallet, I need cash. I come out, guess what he got? Two more stickers, Madison and Mackenzie, they never have my name spelled right anywhere. Where are you gonna put these ones? On the fridge? Oh, they were pretty ready. <laughs> There's also a stand here where you can buy fresh pineapple off the side of the road and they sprinkle tahini on it, so it's got a little bit of spice. All right, our next stop is to the Kaloa Ranch Nature Reserve, and here they have a huge macadamia nut farm, and you can buy nuts here, you can try all kinds of them, and they have a few different stands and stuff too, so just roaming around trying some. All right, so there's all different kinds of flavors. I usually like the honey roasted, and then some of the like sweet glazed ones. So I'm gonna try some. We're trying barbecue sauces now. Seems like a weird thing to try. <laughs> 
Who we'll think you try a rub? Well, that would be good on like shrimp. It was really good. We're at our next stop, Fumi's, and this is where you get your shrimp. Mom got well, spicy. Is it spicy? Yeah. And Dad and I got tempura. I got this last time, and I thought it was really good. Do you like it, Dad? Shrimp. It was so good, and they had the same singer boy that was there last year. He's amazing, and now we are at a bunch of fruit stands where you can pick up some good. Okay, our next stop is the beach, where I was planning. I'm doing a little bit of snorkeling, but the water looks insane. And there's sea urchins everywhere. You might remember if you've been around since my Casey Key Sarasota vlog, I stepped on a sea urchin there, um, and Prince Charming Harris Williams got it out of my foot for me. But um, I don't have a Prince Charming today. And now in my luck, I'd step on five. So I don't know, dad's out there now, and I'm gonna see how he does. And then depending on whether or not he's successful, I might go out, but we only have an hour here. So either way, I'm gonna be sopping wet the rest of the day. But my suit is from Cup Sheet. There he is. Okay, I just finished my book. Every summer after. And this one took me less than 24 hours to read. And I thought it was phenomenal. I thought it was really good. Mom told me that this was um, the author's first book and I thought it was great. This kind of seems like reading someone's diary, I think. And I love it. It reminded me so much of Connor and I coming back each like winter break and stuff. I thought that it was great. I know Brooke Michio, when she read this, she asked people for recommendations of books that felt the way that you feel when you read this. Um, so hopefully I'll look into some of those for my next trip. Unfortunately, I don't have a third book here, so two is gonna be it for the week, but yeah, a big fan. A puffer fish and a turtle. I told dad to bring the GoPro out. And he said there's no fish out there that you can see. He saw a turtle, he saw a puffer fish, he saw all kinds of fish. I should have gone, uh, I'm having regrets. We changed back into our clothes and now we're at the Dole Plantation. And we got a Dole Whip, 7.50 for this thing. You can wait in a really absurd line inside or you can go outside, but it's credit card only. But it's so pretty, I'm excited. All right, we're going inside the gift store. Is that all you need? If you didn't know, Madison collects the smashed pennies. Since she was a kid. I don't think I get to select it. Oh, maybe I do. I want this coffee one. All right, now what? I think I think you pick it when you, oh God. I hope so. Oh well, I got the dull one, which is cool too, I guess. No, it's not. Can you see it? Put it on there. Don't you think she'd like maybe the Dole Whip? No, I think she would like this one. Yeah, this one. But I accidentally got this one because right. of user. Sure. It's too late that you can get dog treats here. So if you come to Hawaii to the Dole pl Plantation, don't make the same mistake as us. But now go we fast. Get go your fast. Treat. Get your doggy a treat. <laughs> we have to go get back on the bus. We've got one more stop. We're going to a coffee, coffee plantation, and don't I don't care. remember. I don't remember this part from last year. Some of the things are the same. Some of the things are different. Okay, our last stop of the day is at this little coffee store, and it's so cute. They've got like signs everywhere and more souvenir type of stuff. I haven't really bought anything besides those rings the other day. I love these little things, but the hotel gave me two Yetis, so I don't need them, but 
still cool. And they've got tons of bags of coffees. Look at how cute this little patch is. I don't have anything to put a patch on, but I love that little hula girl. So cute. I just walked outside and I've discovered a little coffee farm. There's no one else out here, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, but... Oh, coffee garden is for adult relaxation and educational area. Close adult supervision required for children. No running through the coffee garden. Please don't pick coffee cherries and don't climb the trees. Interesting. So is these cherries or coffee? Look at it, there's little roosters everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this one's making so much noise. What a day it was. Busy, long day with lots of stops, but it was a good day. Um, we got back to our hotel at like 5.45 just in time to watch the sunrise from the balcony. And now, sunrise? I, I mean sunset, sorry, thank you. And I just put on jeans and I wore this altered state sweater actually over top of my sweat, um, dress this morning. And I'm really sad I didn't get a good picture in it because I love this thing. It gives like kind of grandma crochet vibes, which I like. And I just figured I'd wear that with jeans because it's a little brisk this evening. And we're about to go grab dinner, just something casual for one last meal. And Hawaii. Yeah, we went to OMG Tacos. I came here my first night last time and they have like huge bowls and stuff like that. It's a lot of food. Like you can definitely bring some of this home. I got half chicken, half steak because I couldn't decide. And we got some chips and guac too. And mom got mahi mahi, which looks actually very good. I That sauce looks good. We're actually doing a little bit of exploring tonight after our meal. Mom just went and got Madison some souvenirs. We'll do a haul once we're back in the room. Dad got another sticker. He'll show you when we get back. I, I went out, she doesn't watch my videos. I went out specifically hoping that I was gonna be the one to find something and I'm going home empty handed. Okay, haul for Madison. So I got her the Tiki Girl earlier and then we went out and we bought her well, we got Madison three things. The first thing that we got is this little hula girl Lego thing, um, which seems like a really weird gift. It's incredibly niche to Madison. She loves Legos and building things and toys, even though she's 21. Mm -hmm. And I saw it and I thought that is the perfect gift. We were looking for something that was like kind of Hawaiian, but like a souvenir, but not like incredibly horribly tacky. Well, this is incredibly horribly tacky, but in a good way. And then we got her this little wooden jewelry cup to put all of her rings and her earrings in on her uh, bedside table. And then we also got her this shirt that mom and I both really liked. We can't forget our Yetis. I wasn't going to forget our Yetis. Dad's laying in agony. <laughs> we also got her this shirt, which I thought was really cute. It says, the search, crafted for the search. Cute. Stop doing that with your feet. It's 8.24 and well, we're out 24 minutes later than we have been. I met this really cool girl on our trip today who also studied abroad. Her name is Layla and she studied abroad in Australia last semester. And she was like, oh, like, where have you been going out? And I was like, I've been going to bed at 8 o'clock with my parents every night. <laughs> <laughs> and she was yeah. like, oh, well, you can come out with us tonight. And I was like, well, I have to get up at, um, at 6 a.m. Well, I have to get up at 5 a.m. Because we're she leaving for the airport. She was getting to watch the sunrise anyway. Yeah, so. she was going sunrise swimming, which if we weren't going, that's something I that thought I they were going to. running. No, swimming. Anyways, okay, I'm going to take a shower, and we'll see you in the morning to check out. Give them love, give them love. Mm -hmm.